Hey guys, Richard here from Photo Video Entrepreneurs. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on how we will edit a newborn photo. I'm going to share with you how we Photoshop, how we do the color correction in Lightroom. This baby came to us, she had a little bit of newborn acne, so I feel like we're going to be doing a little bit more Photoshop than we usually do to a lot of our images. But before I get started, I definitely want to share with you one of the tools that we use, which we feel is the most essential tool for our editing process, a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, which I have here. I got this thing about five years ago and honestly it transformed my editing, it transformed like our entire process. Of course I can still edit using a mouse or a trackpad or anything like that whenever we're traveling if we have to, but for the most part, once you start editing with a tablet and you get used to it, trust me, you guys will never ever look back. Aside from that, everything else is pretty much straightforward. I'm gonna be going through some shortcuts and some little techniques and stuff, but if there's something specific that you wanna see, just drop some comments below and we'll be more than happy to create a video for you like that. So Let's get started. All right, so here we have one of our recent newborns. We're gonna do a, a whole nother tutorial on a separate day, which is gonna be based on how we import, how we organize our entire workflow. But this is pretty much just a basic editing tutorial. So we already applied a preset to it, one of our very own presets that we created. So I'll show you what it looks like a before and after of this picture. This is the before. This is the after, it's very subtle. We just upped the exposure a little bit, added just a little bit of contrast, a little bit of vibrance, and then just a little bit of, of vignetting. Sometimes, depending on the picture, I'll do some profile corrections to it. So for this one specifically, we're gonna do that as well. And we'll just apply a little bit more vignette just to darken the, the edges a little bit, just because that's our personal preference. But other than that, I personally like the way that this picture looks. Later on, once it's photoshopped, once it's done, then we'll go in and do some more color corrections. We'll do some creative edits, whether it's a black and white or another preset that we have created that we like a lot for our newborn photos. The next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit the skin of this newborn. I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop. So in order to do that, you press Command E and it's gonna open it up in Photoshop. All right, perfect. So here we are, just a little sidetrack on this newborn session and how everything went and how everything happened. We do take the time to actually edit every single photo individually that our client is going to receive for the newborn pictures. And most of our newborn sessions are done typically within the first two to three weeks of the baby being born. You know, once the baby is born, we'll kind of wait for them to get on a schedule and then we just keep in contact with them. We'll set up a date for the newborn session. Now, this specific baby, we photographed her at about three weeks after she was born. And unfortunately, we didn't have any other available dates after the scheduled session date to re-photograph her because we were gonna be leaving the country. So we had to do it on that specific day. The day before the actual session, the mom contacted me because the baby got newborn acne, which is sometimes very common in, in newborns. The first thing I did was I asked her to send me a picture of the baby because I kind of wanted to see how serious it was. If it was serious to the point where not even my editing was going to help, then the next best thing to do was going to be either to postpone the session, do it at a later date, or figure something out. So I had her send me a picture and just knowing my experience in Photoshop and what I'm able to do, it wasn't that serious for us. So we just calmed her down and we made sure that she was feeling okay. She still bought her in and we, and we moved on with the session. So just so that you can see, sometimes they come in with acne, sometimes they come in with these little white spots. A lot of time they come in with like the flaky skin or sometimes some parents will rub like some sort of lotion or something like that. But for the most part, they bring them like that. And then it's our job to kind of make sure that we can create something beautiful for them. So this is how the picture looks pretty much raw. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna edit everything I'm gonna try to touch it up, kind of make it look as perfect as possible, but also that fits our style. So the first thing I did was I imported it into Photoshop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Now, I always create a new layer for every single image that we import into Photoshop so that we have the original layer to look back at. And I can go in and I can hide that new layer. And if I screw something up, then I can go ahead, delete it, and then re recopy the, new, the old layer. So. We have our background layer here. So I'm gonna press Command J to create a new layer. So just created the new layer right here. 
So this is the layer I'm going to be working on primarily. And I know there's tons of ways for people to edit images in Photoshop. This is kind of the way that I learned and the process that I followed. I'm gonna get started here. I'm actually using a Wacom Pro tablet. I'm gonna be using this pen to kind of zoom in. And I usually will work from the outside in. It's just a personal preference. And it all depends on where the focal, where the focus is of the, of the image. So for instance, this area right here, this is very out of focus. This area is more in focus, her lashes are in focus more. We kind of want to copy areas that are similar to that specific spot that I want to replace. I always use the patch tool, so the shortcut for that is J. If you go here, it's the same one, patch tool, J. And now I'm just going to select and drag to a cleaner area of the baby's face, so we'll start. And for this very beginning part, I'm just gonna go slowly. Once I finish explaining everything that I'm doing here, then we're gonna fast forward. So basically what I'm doing is I am patching the areas of the skin that are cleaner. So the areas that are kind of, that have the little acne, we're copying from the areas that are a little cleaner. The nice thing about, about newborns when you're doing this in Photoshop is that their skin is is basically brand new they don't have open pores or anything like that or or too noticeable imperfections in the skin so it's very easy to to, to just patch a certain area for adults when you have a lot of pores and stuff like that it's a little bit more difficult because of the pixels but for the most part you just would select an area and just and just drag it there's no specific way that we drag typically I like to just drag in like a very non-perfect way so for instance this would be perfect like a square or a complete circle right i usually like to drag it select around like this kind of like all ziggy zaggy and stuff like that just because so that when it copies the area it's not perfectly copying like a straight line Another thing to keep in mind too is the shadows. You wanna make sure that you keep an eye on the lighting and the shadows and the focus. Because if you copy an area, for instance, if I copy this area, which there's a lot of texture here to, and I drag it to kind of grab this area from this patch, what it does is it adds that focus, that softness too. But I kind of don't want that softness in this specific area because this area was more in focus. We'll just work a little bit here, a little smaller. Oops. So in order to undo is Command Z and Option Command Z again. Sometimes, you know, we make mistakes. And sometimes you have to select an area multiple times too, just to make sure that you get it right. So if you notice there's like, there's some light here, brightness, then there's some shadow here. Some shadow so we're gonna work there so this part of the of the face is pretty much clean um, I'll, I'll go in and fix these little areas now and sometimes I'll select a little bit of a bigger area you know I'll be a little bit more riskier and see if that helps if not just undo it other times when I know it's a little tough I'll select a smaller area and work just in small bits We do work like this for every single every single job, every single picture that we edit for our newborn photos. Obviously some babies or some clients have less things that we need to Photoshop than others, but we take the time to do this to every single photo. That's why you, know, you have to charge what you're worth and your time and your value and, and the energy that you put into, into your work. It's not always just photographing on the actual day and that's it there's a lot more work that goes into just taking this picture this picture was taken in a few seconds probably a few minutes to set up the baby in that position probably a few hours the entire session but now you know we have to edit every single picture individually we want to make sure that it looks perfect so all right so i'm going to go ahead and continue editing this photo do the rest of the face we're going to speed it up a little bit
So, and another thing that I want to note too is like some of these little details that are on the baby's skin, sometimes we don't want to edit it out because it shows that stage of the baby. So like, you know, these little white spots over the nose, some people will remove it. I personally remove just a few of them. And then after that, I kind of leave it as is. It'll smoothen out when I, when I finish this picture and I do some smoothing of the skin. But for the most part, I will leave it like that. So let's let's take a minute and I know I have to do this area still. Let's do this right now. And she does have a little bit of redness around the eye, around the top eyelid. So I'm going to try to copy an area that's not as red. Otherwise in Lightroom, I will reduce the redness a little bit too. But I think this looks pretty good. And sometimes I'll experiment. So I'll go to another area, see if there's something somewhere in the face where it's totally different, but it grabs a nice part of the skin. Okay, it's looking better. She has a little bit more redness here, so we're gonna remove that. Now I'm gonna clean up some other little areas. If it's something that is permanent on the baby, like a birthmark or something like that, there's two things that we do. One, we always ask the parents if it's something that they want us to remove. Sometimes it's a birthmark that will eventually go away or something like that. But 99% of the time, if it's something like that, like birthmark, we do not touch it. This one's a little tough here because there's a lot of different shades of brightness. I wanna make sure that I grab from the right area. I'm getting a little risky here, but oh, that worked perfectly. So now I'm going to explain the content aware. There's a little bit of redness here. So basically what the content aware does is like, if you select an area like this, for instance, right, it's going to be hard for me to patch this area that worked actually. But let's say that it wouldn't have worked. You hit shift delete and it brings out the content aware fill. If you hit okay, what it does is it basically copies this same area programmatically from a cleaner area. And that's a good tool to use specifically when you're working in areas that have lines and stuff like that. All right, I think this looks pretty good for the most part. So let's show you guys the before and after. Before, after, before, after. Once I'm done editing the photo, what I do is now I will create another layer of the clean edited photo and I'm going to apply the portraiture filter like so, and okay. And now it applies that filter to my new layer, but that filter can be a little bit too much depending on the photo. So if you look at the before and after here, I think it's a little bit too much. It looks a little too fake. So what I always do, I always bring down the opacity. And if you have your, your move tool selected and you have the layer selected, you can actually drop the opacity pretty quickly just by pressing one of the numbers on your key. So if you do one, if you press one, you see it brings it down to 10%, 2, 20, 3, 30, 4, 45, 50. So for this specific photo, I kind of want to use like 50%. So i show you what it looks like before and after. And now what I do is I hit Command E to merge this layer and the previous layer. And now this is the final image. So I'm using it a little bit. Before, after. Or after. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this layer again, Command E again. I'm going to hit Command S to save, and it's going to save it. And then I'm going to hit Command W to close. Now I'm going to go ahead and open Lightroom again. So I opened Lightroom and I brought the, the edited photos now in Lightroom. We have the new one here. We have the old one here. So Personally, what I always do, I always give it another rating of a, a one star rating and seven for yellow, because later on, what we do is we filter all the pictures that we edited and we kind of save them just in case we have to go back to them for whatever reason. I'll explain that in another tutorial on workflow and how we organize. But for now, this is the final picture. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of a, of a skin smoothing. So we have that setting here in our brushes. So we have a bunch of uh, LRT brushes, which you guys can, can purchase. 
so skin smooth and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that around the face now zoom in okay so I'll show you what it looks like before after so it's just very very subtle if you hit command O you will see the area that we smoothened out so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to erase some of the parts that we know that are in focus so for instance the eyes the eyelashes the lips we want to make sure those are nice and sharp and the area around the nose and now I remove the mask so command O to kind of show that area mask overlay and to remove it and now I'll show you the before and after See, it's just very very subtle but personally I think that's a nice little touch and now what I'm gonna do is I want to blur a little bit of, of the sides of this picture so we're gonna use a radio filter radio filter and we're going to use the blur brush so we'll blur a little bit of the sides just like that because we were getting the light in from the left side I feel like the left is a little bit brighter than the right so I'm going to go ahead and brush a little bit of darkness onto this so get the brush to a little bit of darken just like that and a lower just a tad one highlight in the shadow. All right. So here it is. This is my final image. So let me show you. This is the before and after. And now, sometimes if I want to get a little bit creative with a certain picture. I will hit Command J in Lightroom to create a, a virtual copy of this picture. We will always deliver the original edited version and then I create a virtual copy if I wanna do something like a black and white for instance, like this one. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty nice. I like the black and white there. Um, or maybe we wanna use one of my other presets that I've created. And personally, I love this style for the, for the newborn picture. Sometimes I'll bring down the, the orange just a little bit. And for this specific edit, maybe brighten up a little bit of the right side of her face, of her body. Just like that, just a little. And that's it. Let's see what else we can do with this specific picture. Just a little darkness. Just like that. So now I have two edited versions. I have the original edited, and now I have my creative edit, which kind of fits a little bit more of the style that we that we personally go for for newborn pictures. Um, and I'll show you a few more that I already worked on. So we have, for instance, this one. This is the before. This is the edited. We have this one before edited. We have this one right here before edited. And the last one that I just worked on. So before and the edited version. All right, so we hope you liked this video. We hope you liked this tutorial. If there's anything specific that you wanted to see, if you have any questions, if you have any comments or feedback, please, please, please write them in the comments box below. We would love to hear more about you guys. We would love to create some more tutorials. I'm looking forward to doing something like this every single week. Definitely let us know what you want to see, what you guys want to learn, and we'll get it at you guys. All right, take care.